Okay. Hi. Yes, it's so hot. I'm still like sweating. I am doing nothing. I'm sitting on a kitchen floor. It's 106, and that's it's just. Oh, shout out haircut. Yes. Yeah, it looks so good. I got mine colored today. I was gonna say yours looked really nice. I noticed you had a full face of glamour. Yeah. Where are you going? going? Uh, nowhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but when I get my hair colored, I try to make sure it's always on a Thursday. I always do Thursday morning. And um, I try to make lunch plans. But today I had a 12 o'clock um, Zoom with Fireside. So that kind of got in the way of making lunch oh. plans. So anyways, oh, well, shout out color, Frocky. Hello, it looks everyone. Good. Happy Thursday. Yes. So, technology, technology, damn technology. So I think we're recording it. I think it's working. It was my iPad was being like a couple seconds off on audio. So I uh, literally just got out of my car and dumped the iPad on the ground. <laughs> so, hi, it's Cheryl, still recording. Hi, us. Okay, hey. So fingers crossed, y'all. We are so over technology in trying to figure this all out. So, anyways, we keep begging for help. And some people have been very helpful. So Tech legends, absolutely. <laughs> and I have to say, it's actually Sarah, because I'm working full time. So she's actually doing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. And it's just insane the amount of hurdles we have to cross to like get this thing going. Like literally one thing will work and everything just has one little tiny glitch. All we want is for replays to have the comments on them. Yes. So because hard. when it doesn't have the comments, it's so much harder for so many people that watch it on the replay right. to follow us. Otherwise, we have to sit there and read all the comments out loud instead of just seeing them and answering them. And, so anyways, yeah. um, enough about that. Welcome to anyone that's new. I see some new names. Welcome. Thank you, uh, Fluffy. Um, do you have two wieners? Can you cross your wieners? That would be cool. So many glitches in life. Uh, oh my God. Technology is just not my thing. So I don't think it's anybody's thing. It's great when it works, but it's shitty when it doesn't work and you have to go find the solution. It's just, yeah, we're not solution people. We're problems. We're problem people. But Jeff Lewis likes solution people. Okay. Well, we'll try. Maybe to that's why he doesn't like us. Does he not yeah. like us? <laughs> Anyways. Welcome, everyone. If you're just joining us, we recap Jeff Lewis Live every weeknight. We love chatting about Jeff Lewis, and we realize none of us have people in real life that were not sick of us chatting about Jeff Lewis. So screw it. We'll chat with each other. So please feel free to join in. You can click the question button at the bottom, or you can type a question. <laughs> you can type a I'm laughing at comments. I know. Um, you can type a question in comments. If we don't see it, we either think you're stupid or we didn't see it. So either one of those, no, we really don't think you're stupid, but it anyways. goes by quick. And I was going to say, if you are new, that's Sarah. I'm Kelly. She's salt. I'm Peppa. Oh, salt and pepper. I like it. Salt and pepper. So people and remember. Texas, you're California. Yes. So many opposites, but our love of Jeff Lewis brought us together at the yes. Burbank live show last November. And it's almost been a full year, and he has not had another live show. We need another live show. He's been real mom. He was talking about Tennessee. We both heard him at least twice on air talk about Tennessee. And I is just that Nashville? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Is that yeah, Nashville, yeah, Tennessee? Yeah. Yes. I'm surprised you didn't say anything about the app yesterday. Oh, no, but Doug did. Is that what you mean? But you know what? Just like he said today, what did he say? He's choosing to be happy, mm -hmm. not right. Do you want to be pissed on or pissed off? <laughs> Absolutely. I can't remember or something like that. Yes. So I think he is really calm in life. Okay. It start, oh, first of all, today was Carney Wilson and Megan um, Weaver. Loved her dress. She does not wear a lot of dresses, but it looks so good on her. The black one? It had a one. little cleavage action. It was mm -hmm. long. It looked like it had a little lace or something on it really cute 
It was the only thing I did not like is that it was not like longer. I think because Megan's so tall that I would love to see a long dress on her, but she looked gorgeous. And like I said, we don't know if her injuries have healed from the Magic yeah. Castle. Yeah. A bitch can't I wear mean, pants if yeah, she got scabs. Bloody, bloody knees, scabs. Um, oh, the tube tops. <laughs> she does love a tube top. She does love hey. a tube top. If I looked good in a tube top at 49, I would be wearing a freaking tube top. Wouldn't yeah, you? I mean, you, I agree, you look Camille. great. Yeah, I agree. Um, but it started off with Jeff, first of all, complaining about sugar. What is sugar in the raw? Is that that kind of thicker, crunchier stuff? It's the brown packet. And when, yeah, it's like granules. Have you ever had rock candy? It's yes. like little rock candies and really small pieces. So like you said, it doesn't dissolve. But you know what's funny? I do like raw sugar because I like to get a mouthful of sugar. So I see no problem with that. That actually doesn't sound bad. But I love that he was like shaking up his coffee. But we know that they go to slight, uh, slight glass, sight glass most of the time. And, and they, I can't didn't, imagine they didn't they have sugar substitutes there. I feel I like they're, they're so Why like early. Toity yeah, hippie, earthy, yeah, all that business. And it's like, no, give me sweet and low. Give me equal. Well, and I think when you and I ate breakfast there and listened to the live show back in July, I remember commenting to you that they didn't really have any choice. They didn't have my yellow Splenda. Um, so I remember thinking, oh, this is so California. They only have, like, real sugar and sugar in the raw. Anyways. Oh, wait, Frank just sent us a message. He wants us to talk about Monroe. Uh, and we'll talk about it later, but we believe me, we'll talk about Miss Monroe. Sugar in the raw is my tender bio. Oh, oh my God, Fluffy, I love that. Yes, I'd be brown tender, sugar. I don't have a tender bio, but that sounds like a really good one. I think I would go after you. I mean, if I had a wiener, I mean, I don't think you'd come after me, but um, I like that bio. I would be brown sugar then in my tender bio. Ooh, I like that. Who gave us hearts? Thank you for giving us hearts. Um, I know how to do that. Um, I do that all the time on Doug's cooking kibbits. Mm -hmm. But by the way, there's no cooking kibbits tonight. That's why we're doing this at five o'clock. He let us know that there wasn't be a cooking kibbits tonight. Okay, it started off with his list of injuries. What is this computer that he went to that showed him all this stuff? Do you believe in it or not? No, I think that's that kind of like I love Eastern medicine. If there really was something that could scan and do that, I think it would happen. I, I feel like, and when they said it was only 300 bucks, I'm like, $300. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't think it's accurate. There's no way. What is it? Well, somebody, one of our uh, friends DM me and said that they've had it done and they oh, thought really? it was actually very realistic. Um, this person even had some medical issues that they didn't let the doctor know about and it came up on that test. Well, Wendy's was, saying she thinks that, I mean, it sounds too good to be true, but it you does. know what though? With Jeff, he is breeding bacteria. He is a bacteria. He's harvesting bacteria. Doesn't he's, that just sound disgusting? He's a, a Petri dish. His butthole is a Petri dish of... Why has it got to be his butthole? I'm oh, sorry. His penis. That's right. Yeah. His penis, say, sorry. We know he's a top. Why is it his butthole? Sorry, sorry. His penis has bacteria in it. I mean... I See, another person thinks it's a scam. I would love for, he definitely is. Yes, he is a top. No, he's a top. He wants to uh, penetrate the peach. If yeah. You know I mean. Why is he severely dehydrated, though? That sounds very severely. Is it because it's so hot and he's drinking sodas and teas and stuff and the tea and lemonade? Number one, it's super hot. Number yeah. two, he drinks alcohol at night and probably does not restock on water before he goes to bed. Number three, medications that he's on. Number four, he does rarely, I mean, actually before I used to see him drink just water, but I haven't seen a lot of just water anymore, like a water bottle. Ew, cold pressed celery juice every morning. That sounds disgusting. It's so gross. It Ugh. is gross. I have no problems with any of that stuff, so. I do drink a lot of water, but it's really hard for people. I know it's really hard for people that like work and have things to do no. and can't go to the bathroom all the dang time. I'm it's a hard. teacher. I'm a teacher. I, but you know what? I do have to go to the bathroom once an hour. 
I mean, I must drink like 12 of these. Number one, it's super hot. It's the way my body is. I sweat a lot. I have to talk a lot so my mouth gets dry. Yeah. Which is why I always have like two drinks because my mouth gets dry. But yeah, I drink a lot of water and make the time to pee. Make the time to pee. Um, and when, well, it sounds like he also needs some fancy water. What was this water? He needs alkaline, alkaline water. Alkaline 9.5. Is that a real thing too? Yes. That, that is this is guy real. just blowing smoke up his ass? No. his you know pee a real thing? Yes, his pH balance is thrown off. I didn't know you could just drink alkaline water. Well, he said that he wants to drink alkaline water so that his body absorbs it better. So he is a rich bitch. I mean, I did a post today um, because I thought of all the money and all the people that he has to help him, which is wonderful because they really do. I love what he always says, like when he pays for dinners, like of all the chunks, yes. he looks around, he's like, you make me money, yep. you make me money, you make me money. Yep. I love that. I mean, and it's life's not all about money, but what he's saying is, this is definitely worth it. Where do you buy alkaline? I don't know. Fancy I stores. think if you can get it pretty much anywhere. Even Walmart? I, yeah. Okay. Grocery store, anywhere. Alkaline, and it helps you absorb things better? No, he like was just violence? saying, I, I guess. No, I think that he's saying that he wants his body to absorb the alkaline so that he reverses the pH balance that was too acidic. Because that's how bacteria grows. And when, oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to say something else about Megan, but I'll just save that part. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but the wine, you're right. And then he says no wine. And <laughs> Next week, they're going to Napa Valley for Stu's birthday. <laughs> he said no coffee, and the man is drinking a coffee and shaking it in front of everyone. Absolutely. He He's is such... not following directions. This has been months. How I'm gonna long tell you, has this been? This has been months. I'm going to tell you, if Jeff Lewis was in my class, <laughs> he would have his clip move three times. <laughs> he would go past a green card, a yellow card. He is on a red card. He is not listening. He is not following directions. Mom's getting called. Well, Can you imagine the phone call? call? What? I said, whoops, can't call mom. I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. She dad, girl. I'm sorry. I'm calling dad. Tom I, probably didn't answer the phone when he was a kid <laughs> from the teachers. <laughs> you know he was naughty. You know he's naughty. He's a naughty oh my, boy. Oh, my God. He got so many phone calls home. Uh, so many. He got in trouble for writing notes. We can call Zoila. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I miss Zoila so much. Thank you, Camille. We should call Zoila and say that. He, remember when Zoila said you need to start putting water? Claudia. She said you need to start putting water upstairs because he fell down the stairs. Yeah. Zoila, so she knows. She loves Yeah. Her. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, so I did a poll and I was asking, like, if you were rich, if, if money were no object like Jeff Lewis, would you want a Shane, an assistant? Would you want a Zoila housekeeper? Would you want a nanny Lisa for your kids? Or would you want a private chef for chef, like Chef Stu? For me, it would be yeah. a private nanny when Tyler was young. Now yeah. it would be a Shane. A Shane? No, 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 a Zoila, because I can't clean my house and it frustrates me. I'd rather have a Zoila. So I already have a housekeeper. I would want a chef for sure. You just want Stu in your kitchen. Okay, I just want Stu. Never mind. <laughs> You're right. Can you imagine Chef Stu showing up at 530 every night to cook dinner for our family like he does for that rich family? I would love it. I mean, we got to see some pictures last night at Craig's. That was a, can you believe that Jeff posted on his Instagram also? I was shocked. Not only that, but Brandy. He does love Jeff. I Brandy mean, she, is a beautiful woman, right? We've seen her. She's a beautiful woman. Jeff told her that, I think someone said she's the second hottest guest on his show. I say first. But in the pictures, she was so hot. Like a model. Why did model. I not see pictures of her? A good picture. I saw like barely her face. I, I barely saw Julie at all. Julie was like hiding her face. No, there's a picture of her and Brandy. It's with her and Stu and the, she's just giving face. Just, mm, mm, she is gorgeous. Mm. And those legs, I mean, everything skinny. about her. She's a skinny so bitch. So skinny. I love a skinny bitch. Oh my and God. There's a girl that has $6,000 water system. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, those yes. water systems are expensive, like soft water or whatever. They're very well, expensive. Osmosis. When I lived in Huntington Beach, my rich 
person that I knew, her daughter was selling these water systems that was alkaline that would like, and it was like $15,000 to install it. I was like, get, get out of here, girl. Get out of here. Yeah, let's figure out, since someone brought up that um, Brandy does wear her sunglasses a lot, let's see if she wears them tomorrow on the show or in the, in the, in the coffee picture. Well, of course she's going to. That's early. And if you have a hangover, the light bothers your eyes. So but it seems like they went out. People's couch was so cute. They're so good on it. And they were the first recappers, by the way. I mean, literally the first recappers. And we're kind of the first recappers of Jeff Lewis Live, especially as far as every day goes, we think. I don't know. The showers feel bomb. You know what? It's funny is when I moved into this house, the guy had installed like a soft water feature because I guess the water's really hard out. Hi, Stacy. I think that's Stacy. But I like it hard, so. Oh, I mean, why would you want hard versus soft? I mean, for sure. Blasted. <laughs> um. So I love that Jeff. Who was he talking about when he said? multiple people were given jabs at him this past weekend. So we know this past weekend he was in Newport. He already mentioned Chef Stu and him. Oh, you've got a list? Stu, Krista, possibly Todd, yep. Tom, and his dad. Oh, God, what's his dad's name? I forgot Tom. his dad's name. Tom. Tom, sorry. Tom. Wow. Okay, when I thought about that, he didn't really give any stories about him and Krista all weekend, right? Mm -mm. And was there any videos? Like, she wasn't videoing. She's really not the video. She's usually like Kelly Dodd and Heather McDonald. Wait, she was there this weekend, though, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Her and Alice yeah, you, now that you say that, there wasn't a lot. I think him and Krista are like sisters and brothers, and they really, when they're good, they're good. And when they're bad, they're bad. Anne Monroe, she has a little bitch <laughs> about jazz all the time. God damn. And Ro was giving him jabs last night and the night before when they were watching uh, the TV show that he was on. Celebrity Beef. Yeah. Celebrity like she, Beef. I cracked up when he's like, I didn't teach my daughter to be homophobic. Like, she's going to threaten to tell everybody that I'm gay. I was like, this little girl. Oh, my. I mean, because we know we're teachers. Yeah. And when they start out that young. Ooh. Oh, they're feisty. She's going to be. And she a girl. is feisty. And a girl. And a girl, and the ver cute, the and verbal rich, skills, the verbal and famous. Skills. Oh my God, she's she gonna be trouble. Okay, we have to talk about Carney's uh, butthole. <laughs> Missing her up. asshole. Okay, but she said it wrong. Okay, so she got a tummy tuck. Normally they pulled down, but instead they pulled up, which meant that her uh, everything shifted up. But she kept saying my butthole was um, higher. And I was like, no, it's not. Because down there, it would be lower. Because it's going like this. No, I think if you pull up, your butthole comes towards your, yes. your, uh, your baby hole. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But she kept saying my butthole was higher. And I was like, no, your butthole's lower. Oh, see, I see that as higher, too. Because I think you go to wipe. And she wiped. And it was just butt crack. She had to go up. Oh, she meant higher than it was yep. lost. I was like, no, your butthole's not up higher. It's down lower. Hi. Yes, I do think that, that she's, he's frustrated with Krista. Okay, so the video, first of all, love Kelly Dodd, but I've said this before. It seems like when she goes live, or yeah, is that what it is? And she, she posts videos, whatever it is, when she's at all these events, mm -hmm. I always wonder if other people are okay with it. Like she seems to just randomly like show everybody whatever. And I'm like, what if somebody's there with like a lover? Are they or, called in sick to work? Exactly, yeah. things like that. But also it's like she's videoing. Nobody seems to know anything about it. Um, Shane is across the, the dinner table, kind of look, not even looking. Yeah. Stu seemed to me to kind of lean over to Jeff. He was either talking to him already or he was letting him know, like, I would do a good girlfriend or wife. I would say, hey, We're someone's video would just, you know, because what if you say something or what have you? Now, I don't think if he did anything, she would post it because she's a right. friend of his. But it just seemed like, like he was busy, like, get, getting people's food. Then Monroe was sitting next to him and Heather was sitting. I don't know. It looked a little tension to me. Like, Heather wasn't talking. Yeah. Jack wasn't talking. It could have been just the moment in the video 
Exactly. Somebody's talking about the Chaz uh, podcast interview that I posted today, which is a great link by um, David what? from Behind the Vel Velvet Rope. I got to go back because I didn't see the first part. I listened to Chaz's interview. He said Jeff didn't like pictures or video. He would freak out. Yeah, and you know, he's talked about Like at that. birthday stuff. And Chaz was saying on the podcast that since um, he lost his mother at a, a young age, and she never liked taking pictures of herself. So he doesn't have all those memories. So Chaz is like, I take pictures of everything, Aww. every day, every moment, because they're my memories. And he said that Jeff would get mad at that. But that makes sense because Jeff has never been one to either post a lot of public stuff yeah. or other people posting stuff of them. He's only um, done that very recently. It says she blocked, or Fluffy says she blocked me when I commented on her post of Monroe that it's not up to her to make decisions for someone else's child. Totally agree. Said she doesn't have to like Jeff's co-parent, but she needs to respect their wishes. I agree. If, I think it's so problematic to have Is that friend. Kelly Dodd, Fluffy? Kelly? Yeah. Oh. But not only that, but Krista, it's like, why? Don't get involved in that. Don't make it worse for Jeff. Don't right. post Monroe. If he said, I'm going to have it taken down, don't do it. Yeah. And Kelly but, and Krista, I both think just aren't good with boundaries and they do what they want. The podcast with Chaz, there's a two part. It is on my story. I have a link to it, but it's uh, behind the velvet rope is the name of the podcast. Awesome. Yeah. And so I went and Chaz is great on it. He, I mean, he hardly gives David any time to talk at all. He, he talks, talks a, a lot. Really good interviewer. Um, matter of fact, Mercedes MJ just gave David props on her podcast Monday on Till the Dirt. And he um, also has Jenny Poulos. He has Megan Weaver. He has Chaz. I want to say there's a few other people that Chumps. were. Yeah, Chumpy. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot of connections. And so his podcast, so this podcast that he promoted, see, he's talked about, um, he talked about Monroe being four years old. But also he talked about the pandemic. So if I were to say, I would say they probably filmed it a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, oh, you met David at BravoCon. I hope to meet him and yeah. we're going to meet him both. We hope that. Yes. Um, um, all I yeah. hear about him is he's so nice. He's very nice. And I'll say about Chaz. Chaz is a really um, thoughtful human. Yeah. He's very sincere. He's very sensitive. Um, he likes to talk. I know he does a lot, a lot of lives. I think he does one every night, like right. a kind of he a goes spiritual walking, thing. He does lives. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so funny if I have to tape it. One of my favorite, one of my favorite scenes from Flipping Out is when Chaz and they all go to the strip club in Vegas. I don't know if you remember that show. Uh -uh. And oh, okay, so. Jeff had um, Carrie's sister Sarah's bachelorette party, party in Vegas, and they all went to a strip club. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, but I love Sarah. Oh, my God. I went on the show so bad. I love Sarah. They, he's asked her, and she says no. That's says so no. weird. I think she was, like, hurt by Jeff, and she's like, no, I don't need all. And plus, I think when you get a lot of attention, like, because she was famous, I'm sure, for being on Flipping Out, it kind of yeah. freaked you out, and you're like, I don't want to do that again. Maybe. Yeah, now she's, like, married with a kid or two, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Chaz did say on this podcast that he only gets to see Monroe via um, Gage. Gage. But he reposted my story. Yes. Uh, so I'm kind of wondering, is that a good thing? Does that mean that he and Jeff are both in agreement that maybe they could talk and work things out? Remind me what your, your original post was. The story that he reposted, because I made a few, was about, um, was promoting David's podcast, Behind the Velvet Rope. And I did tag him in it, because he doesn't follow me. That's the only reason he would see it. I tagged him, and I think I tagged Behind the Velvet Rope in it. And uh, he reposted it with some different music. And you said the music, what did we say it was? It's New Order Blue Monday, but that's like a serious bop. And I just know like that's an, from the 90s, it's almost 80s. That's a big gay song that you would hear in clubs. It's all good. But when I looked up the lyrics to it, I could kind of see it going other yes. way. It was yeah. kind of like, you know, you, you're you going to tell me how you feel. I mean, I don't know. I could. It seemed very intentional. I just couldn't see how it was going. I really hope, since we know that Jeff talked a few weeks ago. Yes, that's what I was going to say. He specifically said Chaz Dean. He didn't say Jenny, but he said he thought he and Chaz could, like, talk and maybe come to terms with a friendship again. He actually said he missed him. And then a few yeah. weeks later, he talked about Chaz sending him a video of a woman 
on her cell phone walking into the fountain that he built. Aww. So that means they're still in, con like, I, they're now conversating because he just sent that video to Jeff to laugh at. Yeah, I love that. Um, I do feel like Chaz didn't do anything wrong. I do. I love Jeff. We know that. But Jeff is Jeff. And we all know he can be very temperamental, just like the breakup with him and Stu. I mean, it was final. I mean, whoever got mad at who, whatever was going on, Stu said he went and got his clothes. So, I mean, I mean, he was. Wow. They were donezo. And then with it, what was it, like 26 hours? They're talking about going to couples therapy together. And now they're strong yeah. as ever. Yeah. So Jeff can make rash decisions. Impulsive. Um, yeah, impulsive, impulsive. That's why he got in trouble as a little kid. Impulsive. Yes. Oof. Very impulsive. Yeah. But I I hope that it means that that's a good thing and that they could move forward. Um, yeah. Okay, the whole story about the, the losing weight and then getting pregnant. Oh, someone's pregnant. saying that he gave uh, Jeff that video a long time ago and it wasn't recently. Oh. Oh, boo. Oh, well. Okay, so everyone wants to talk about the Monroe stories. Oh, my goodness. Threatening her dad. And then when he said, okay, fine, everyone knows I'm gay. Like, why would you use that? He's like, then I'm going to tell Shane. And not only that, I'm going to tell Shane, my friends, that you go to the gay bars and dance on the tables. He's like, okay, I'm proud of that. And then Li our Linda, uh, Alyssa in the background was like, who showed her that video? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I... I don't know. I'd show my kid that video and think it was funny. I mean, I kind of would too. I feel like Monroe is like a mature kid. You know what I mean? And I think when you're an only child and you also were mature enough that you go back and forth between, first of all, she's also being introduced to really nice restaurant. She's with adults a lot. That's what I was going to say. My yeah. daughter, because I was a single parent. And so she was always around adults. So she knew things that other kids didn't know and she was much more able to communicate she was more comfortable around adults i feel like that's monroe yeah i feel like that too but i also feel like she's also so smart so she's really good oh, yeah. at already thinking but kicking his hand oh my god well not i only like that had lost my freaking mind if my kid because that hurts when you kick someone's hand that's yeah. very sensitive i might have went buck wild on her oh my god yeah, uh, she's got some stuff. She's got some stuff we got to work through. Um, I think that, though, you know, anytime a child is really verbal and able to express themselves like that, it's a high sign of intelligence. Yeah. If, yeah, they, can, sure. if they can manipulate, bargain, argue, negotiate, you're up. You're, you're in trouble, but dude, you're in trouble. That's true, you're Fluffy. Fired. I think she's very different with Gage yep. than she is. But this is with any relationship. My kids are very different with my husband than they are with me. I'm a complete pushover. I can't yeah. deal with it. If my kids want a dress, if my kids want an iPad, I'm like, okay. I mean, just they wear me down. They wear me yeah. down. I just can't. You know what's funny when he was talking about that? Because I was thinking about my life with Tyler. And like when he said, like, I, when Carney and they were talking about never saying no. And I was like, God, you know we grew up without a lot of money and there was always financial problems. So I always had to say no. Yeah. And I knew it was crushing at times, but my daughter is so resourceful. Yeah. And, I mean, there's, you know. Yeah. And I think you are what you are. I think every kid is born with their own personality. Yes, their and temperament. Don't forget on flipping out, Monroe was a firecracker from birth. I mean, she was never a calm kid. She's deaf. I mean, if anyone was going, she didn't cause their breakup, but they already had relationship issues before Monroe. Yeah. Colic wouldn't, and that fussy child would not make anyone, because then you don't have the time together. You're so stressed out. You start Sleep having deprived. Sex, She starts crying. I mean. Sleep deprived. And I have to tell you, like, I remember, uh, it's like you remember, like, yeah. I'm sure you remember, it's really hard the first six months. You literally do not sleep and i don't remember oh, they did have frozen. a night nanny right he did but i still think that gage was more hands-on yeah and even though that the night nanny was there that he's still and they got rid of them all the time didn't they get rid of nannies all the time yes penny and i do remember 
I don't know if this is true or not, but I remember Gage saying you can't let her cry because then she stops breathing. I've never heard that. Yes. No, I've heard of kids doing that. They turn blue. Well, then breathe. Well, I know, but you literally have to blow in their face. I've never really. Heard of that. Yes. Oh, that's like scary. it's a real thing. Now, I think eventually they would have to, but I really think it's a medical thing. I really think. Um, oh, that's scary. That's scary. Yeah, I do feel like Gage was way more patient. He yeah. kind of took on. Remember, they even had strife about the business stuff because at one point. Gage could not fully work no. an eight to six job like he normally used to because he was always getting up from the chair to go help with Monroe. He was 24 seven. He picked yeah. up, I mean, that's why he has such a bond with Monroe. Yeah. He was really the one that went and got her when she screamed and cried and he was 24 seven and he cannot work that job like he used to. The yeah. job, German sexually harassed him? <laughs> <laughs> that one girl did like um, Gage. Oh, was, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But she hated him at the end. She didn't like yeah. him at the end. She yeah. was like, I hate Gage. <laughs> I think a lot of them hate Gage at the end. <laughs> Remember um, Andrew Coleman? They really oh. had the outs. Yeah. You know what? I'll say this about Gage. I like Gage. I think he's yeah. great. But he was, mean to, he was mean to Andrew, and I, I didn't like that. Yeah. Well, I think his expectations of professional Yes. And love Andrew Press. Coleman he's amazing we were so lucky to hang out with him for two days but he's a lot he definitely crosses the line but we think that's hilarious do we necessarily want him rep want him representing our business like that maybe not oh no. <laughs> yeah 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 Jeff took him around Jeff kept Andrew because he was funny I mean he's talented too he's professional yes but yeah and he's hot oh my god Jeff loves attractive oh, women attractive men around him oh Marty you're let's gonna face it Marty, you can't say those things on here. What did he say? Marty is a girl, I believe. It says, Zoila saw right through Gage from the get-go. But you yeah. know that Fluffy's going to come in swinging hard. Oh, but we know that. I mean, she's the one that called him Barbie. Yeah, she did. I mean, she's the one that started all that. Yeah, for sure. Um, speaking of spending, or uh, who does what with each kid, though, it does sound like Jeff, does realize that he needs to spend more quality time. It kind of twinged me a little bit when Carney said today that she's wanting more of your attention. Yeah. Because that hurt my feelings. No parent I know. wants to hear that their child is acting out because they want more attention. Not We only feel that. like we can never give our kids enough attention and that would kill me. So it killed me for Jeff to hear that. Yes, but I think that Jeff needs to hear that because you can buy all the Barbies in the world. Yeah. You can get all the nannies in the world, put her in the most expensive school, but the most important person to her are her caregivers, which is yeah. Jeff and Gage. And if yeah. you aren't putting in that time, that's, it's so funny. I'm going to go on a tangent. I was talking to a parent today and she was talking about how she wants harder homework for a kid. And I said, you know what they really need? It's just one-on-one -on -one conversation. Talk to them. Go outside, count things. Like, you don't, you know what I mean? Just spend time with them. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and I have to say, as a parent going back, like, to this day, my daughter's 22, I feel bad about the times I didn't spend with her. Right? I think parent guilt is... Mom guilt. Mom guilt, but I feel like Jeff and Gage are the mm -hmm. moms because they don't have yes, a female. Yes, yes, you know what I mean? Yes, yes absolutely. Um, yeah, so I feel like a lot of his business stuff is dinners at night. Yeah, because and that's kind of when to. he right, like that's whenever he takes the chumps out because that is an expense, but it's also part of getting to know each other and talking for the radio show the next day. So he's kind of got to do those things. But you know what he said today that I was like, oh, okay, because I was we always were wondering why is he always going to Newport? Why is he always going to Newport? Yeah, he said because that's the time that he can spend with Monroe. And I was like, oh, okay. I wish he would say that. He doesn't think to say it because I was. He and he even said like spending the expensive weekends and blah 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 blah. But you know, and and Jeff has people around him all the time. Yeah, a child wants one on one. <sighs> That's true. That's why she liked the bath. I mean, remember whenever he said that he took a bath with her with his bathing suit on, but that they that she really enjoyed that. They just want to know. That's why she always makes his comments about uh, her being the favorite, not Shane. She yeah. Knows, 
him. And it might not have been, I don't know how she acts with Gage, because I don't know what that's like. I think right. it's very different, because he's probably not around a lot of people all the he's time. He's got a subscription account now. If he would only let people know what the hell's going on in his life. Even though we're blocked by Gage, we're both getting the information. Yes. We won't say from who, because we're not sharing it, but we're getting the information. And um, it's not very exciting. He needs to step up that shit. Elka, he does have to bring everybody to Newport because he needs an entourage. But those people that he brings, like the day trip, Todd came with Carrie and the kids. Um, Tom and Claudia come for yeah. the day. I really do feel all of those people are important people in Monroe's life. And he's trying, make, he's trying to make memories with family. I think yeah. that's really important to him, especially yeah. since he lost his mom. So, he yeah. want, you know, he wants all this stuff. And yeah. I, 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 yeah, to yeah. totes. Yeah. Well, let's wrap it up. We try to keep this to about 30 minutes. It usually goes to about 37, which it is now. Um, we always put the replays on boat. Well, I don't know. It's kind of messing up. If, if technology goes right for us tonight, then we're going to be able to post it on our YouTube channel, which is Jeff Lewis Obsessed. I don't really make a lot of the videos on TikTok. I will try to do that, though. But that's Jeff Lewis Obsessed. And then, of course, our Instagrams, Jeff Lewis Obsessed and Jeff Lewis Chump. And a Facebook page, Jeff Lewis Obsessed. Good. We're everywhere. Holy shit. And there's about three people that watch us. So it's awesome. Yay, three people. Woo! There's like 10. There's 10. <laughs> Anyways, you want to talk about music real quick? I feel like I have been sucking on music. So I knew it was Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, the first song. I cannot remember what he played for the second song because life is crazy today. It what was, was it? good. What was it, though? Was it Billie Jean or was it the one that he's not, that, that boy is not my child? What's the one? That's Billie Jean. Oh, that's Billie Jean? That was so weird. You know the one that made me think of? What? Everett from the swimming pool this past weekend. <laughs> That he's not his kid. That boy why is not I, my kid. Why am I watching this kid? <laughs> Where's Everett's mom and dad? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, we didn't get to talk to this. All, I talked about it. But also the story about the, the woman getting pregnant by two different men. Girl. And Megan was like, I don't know. It sounds like an option to me. <laughs> I, I'm just not for letting men nut inside of me, let alone twice a day. Yeah. That's crazy. That's literally like one in a billion to get pregnant with twins and then two different dads. But like Jeff said, what a crazy Father's Day. Oh, Lord. Girl. Girl. But, you know, again, we've chatted about this, whether he should have another child or not. To me, it would be sort of like if he had another child, either on his own or with Chef Stu. Um, and then Monroe would be going to Gage. I mean, you know, just like how I think they would raise him as full siblings. Yeah. They would just know that eventually they weren't in blood. Yes, I see. I see. No you. shower in between either. Oh. <laughs> don't know that. <laughs> Thank you for joining, everyone. Uh, we will see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock Pacific time. Wendy says she hopes your iPad's okay and that the sprinklers aren't on. I know, right? Literally, that would be my luck. I would see the sprinklers right in front of me. And they're not on, but you're right. This is 7.40 in Texas time. So I don't know when they go off because my husband does all that crap. But literally, that would be something that would happen to me. Um, Tomorrow is Wet Wednesday with Brandy and Julie. Love them. Yes. Sorry, okay. I have to go. I have to take a poop. <laughs> I'm so my brain, jealous. My brain is like, go to the bathroom. All right. Goodbye. Jealous. On a poop note. Bye, everyone. Bye.